This is a practice session where you have to write a simple contact form. The application has to be written only on the basis of the concepts that you have learnt till lecture 5. Razor and MVC pages are not to be used. The home page should show a form like this. The form has been kept simple by avoiding CSS formatting and form validation rules. The submit button causes an HTTP post to our application. The application reads the posted values and echoes them back to the browser. Go through the requirements and can you try solve the exercise yourself? Use Visual Studio to create a new project. Select ASP.NET Core Web Application and click Next. Type a name for your project and click Create. Select the empty template. Keep the default options. Click Create. And reach this project explorer. Remember? We were introduced to all these files in lectures 1 and 2. We have already learned that these files are for settings and configuration. So they can be left untouched. All HTTP requests are handled through the configure method of the startup class. The configure method contains the middleware that receives and responds to the requests. Double click and open the startup class. It contains two methods configure services and configure. We have to customize the configure method. We can see that Visual Studio has given us the simplest pipeline with just three components. And the endpoint routing is also configured. We start by customizing the mapkit method to serve the contact us form. A string builder has been used to serve the form. Run the application to see a display like this. Next we come to the post request. Here we read the form variables and echo them back to the browser. A bad HTTP status code of 400 is sent for any other request. The completed code can be found in the description below. Thank you.